hi guys welcome back to the channel um, what I would like to do today is add more storage to the system we're adding an m.2 drive to it 256 bit and then I think the only way that I can run both m.2 drives is if it's on raid zero I think that's the only thing they offer with this motherboard unfortunately I don't want to do raid zero I would like for it to be separate categories so with that we have a one terabyte this is a backup drive that I use um, it's a one terabyte backup drive and then I have a one terabyte Western Digital and we have a 120 gig SSD so I figured with these two mounted in the case and then this one mounted down on the floor um, this should add plenty of redundant storage for me because right now all I have is the one 256 gig um, M.2 drive that's in it also one of the other things I would like to do is clean this mess up um, I would like to fix the RGB controller clean up some of the wires um, Basically why it looks like this now is because I was moving stuff around to try to figure out where the drives are going to go um, When I built this I took the drive cages out actually to fit a fan in there, so I'm just going to lay them in there um, And the SSD mounts there, so at least I have a spot to put that But yeah, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to add an M.2 storage try to configure it And go from there Make sure to smash the like, here we go. Success. Awesome. Okay, so that's what I needed. Okay. Now this drive only goes in one way. Oh, you know what? How about we shut the computer off first? That would be a good idea. Shut her down. I like that top look with the green. It looks cool like that. I think that looks cool. Oh, it shut down. Okay. All right. Okay, so I got the graphics card out. It's a nice graphics card. Okay, so now we can probably put the dang chip in it, or the M.2 drive in it, finally, wherever it goes. Where's the fingers at? Down there. I see it. Got it.
have it guys we have the one terabyte hard drive that's kind of sitting in there there really isn't too much room for everything so I just try to make the best that I could I try to clean it up the best that I could we got our SSD ready to go everything is in its spot and it's been cleaned up a little bit the really only thing that there is left to do is hook this up which is USB and we have a USB 3.1 um, type C on the back that we will be able to use and my rabbits over there tearing up my foam really excuse me hey that's mine excuse me thank you so yes now that we got the back all straightened out and it looks quite phenomenal and we got more storage to it now let's go ahead and flip it around all right and then we'll hook our drive up and make sure that that's running proper all righty so we got the system turned on oh yeah nice and green like that blue and green and blue Okay, so it looks like we're getting kind of low. We may need to top that off. Hey, what are you doing? Where are you at? There she is. Come on, get out of my closet. Alrighty, let's get this turned on. Okay, so let's see if all of our storage drives are present so here is our boot drive our m.2 drive and then this is our one terabyte mechanical drive and this is our ssd and then this is our backup drive so yes all the drives are showing which is great so everything is working we now have extra backup and extra storage and power I hope you guys enjoyed the video, it's a, a, a fairly straightforward way, fairly cheap to get more storage, um, no configurating, you just need to plug in the SATAs and go from there, so make sure to drop me a like, thank you for watching, and as always, you guys be cool, and we will see y'all next time.